Hi everyone, this is part one of an 11 part video tutorial documenting the building process of this amazing airplane. And here I just show you the quality of the AMR 60 again. If I open this up here, look at this. I'm just completely amazed every time I look at it. There is not a gram or an ounce too much on that airplane. This part of the fuselage without the rudder is 96 centimeters long. That's just about 38 inches. And now if I weigh it, that's 290 grams, which is roughly 10 ounces. Isn't that amazing? Okay, as a first step, let's make some openings in the covering. And the weapons of choice are a small iron and a larger one. Uh, then a soldering iron with a very fine tip and a very sharp knife with a new blade. There wasn't a manual in the box, but I sent an email to Adat and she right away sent me a download link. And I actually like this much better. Here on my iPad, I can look everything up and I don't have paper flying around. Sean designed something very clever here. Here on the left side of the fuselage, you see two openings for servos. These are for the servos that Sean recommends, and I'm using them. However, on the other side, there are different openings, larger ones. And if I measure them, they're actually 33 uh, millimeters. That is a, an inch and a third, and then two-thirds of a, uh, an inch wide. And that fits, for example, high-tech mini servos, so your, your normal mini servos. So you can choose which ones you want to use. And then you put them on the left side or on the right side, depending on what you choose. I'm going to use the ones that Sean recommends, and so they go on the left side. Before I now open the covering for the servo, I take an iron and make sure that around the hole the covering is nicely bonded to the wood. Now I don't take a knife but a soldering iron just like that. You could also use a hot needle and very carefully open up the hole along the edges and what happens then is that the covering is at the edges is nicely welded to the wood and it wouldn't be like that if you used a knife. Go one more time with the soldering iron along the edges and it's fine. Now let's test fit a servo. Uh, don't use force here, you might break something. If it doesn't fit, you might need to take a file or something and enlarge the hole just a little bit. And now it fits nicely. Next is to open the hole for the elevator and same procedure just go around it with an iron to make sure that it is a good bond and then just let's make the opening the same way with the soldering iron by the way it's a good idea to start somewhere in the middle of that slot and not right at the edge that way you don't run the risk of cutting in the wrong place and then having a hole where you don't want it And then it's a good idea to cut a hole as a vent for hot air from the motor that runs through the fuselage to exit right here. And just, I go again, not right at the edge, but a little bit away from it, and then cut it open. For the aileron servos, I'm actually going to use a knife, and I'll show you in a little while why. But first, let's also take an iron and go around the hole. And now I very carefully cut the opening, but not at the edge. Leave a couple of millimeters. So cut it a little smaller, just like so. And when that's done, I cut at a 45 degree angle towards the edges. Make sure you have a sharp knife. Then I take the small iron and just glue the edges over, like so.
Here you can see that the opening for the servo, if you use the small servo that Sean recommends, is actually a little smaller than the opening that we just cut. If you want to use larger servos, you're going to have to cut that wood away. Okay, folks, we've made ourselves some nice openings. And in part two of this tutorial, I will show you how I install the servos. So check it out and also do subscribe to my channel and please give me feedback in the comments. See you later. Bye.